The full spectrum of natural history is on show here at the Evolution Store in Soho. From 4.5 billion year old meteorites to human skeletons, if you'd like to add to your cabinet of curiosities, this is the place. I'm here with Alex, who's the manager here at Evolution. Uh, this place is like a mini natural history museum. There are so many things that you can look at and be fascinated by. What's the philosophy behind it all? Well, actually, you've spelled it out quite nicely. Uh, what we're aiming for is something like a natural history museum that you could take home and put in your living room. There's so many different kinds of specimens. You've got the entomology department that has the, the butterflies, you've got taxidermies, crocodiles and alligators and actual human skeletons. Where do all these things come from? Well, we've been in business for 17 years and we've developed enormous number of contacts in different fields uh, from taxidermists to people who supply entomological specimens to seashell specimens to uh, people who clean bones or cast and prepare replica items. Um, we get them from all over. Uh, the real human skulls and skeletons are one thing that many people ask about. Can anyone just walk in off the street and exit the store with a human skeleton under their arm or do you have to have some kind of medical qualification to take one home? Uh, you do actually um, need medical qualifications for us. Uh, New York State requires uh, us to have a license to sell natural human bone products and uh, the, part of the terms of our license is we can only sell to medical professionals. What are some of the most popular items? Certainly the most popular items are, are things that we sell that are sort of kids' gifts. Things like insect lollipops, those are very popular. Small stuffed things like the alligator heads or the stuffed piranha. What are some things that you can find here that you wouldn't be able to find elsewhere? There are several things that we have that are quite unusual. We have meteorites of many different types. We have beautiful, unusual taxidermy. We have uh, very interesting fossils. but. I think many of the things that you'll find that uh, you wouldn't be able to find anywhere else are things that we actually do. The insect preparation, for example, we do custom work. We have a wide variety of specimens and there are not very many people who have these available for you to pick and choose from. I think some of our most unusual things right now are uh, two-faced calf skull. That's where the uh, fetal calf is born with two snouts. What kind of reactions do you get from people in the store? We do get people who are just freaked out by the whole thing. People, I mean, sometimes we get kids who just go through the store looking at things and saying, ew, <laughs> ew. And I, I also think that there's something about the, the way we present it, which is a little bit uh, in the museum scientific vein that, that tends to make people feel less uncomfortable about it. But there are, there are still people who do. Do people tend to buy these things just as art to decorate their home, or is there more of an educational component? Well, both. Um, I think a lot of people really like to be surrounded by this type of thing, but I know we've also sold to a lot of uh, universities and schools. I've, I've sold a fossil dragonfly to the Museum of Natural History here in New York. Well, thank you so much for showing us all these fascinating words today. Certainly. Thank you very much for coming. If you'd like to see more, go to theevolutionstore.com. I'm Ella Morton, and you've been watching Rocket Boom NYC.